Hello, welcome back to our Morrowind playthrough. In our last video, we pulled off the great heist at the Ghost Gate, got ourselves some new glass armor and weapons, and today we're continuing on with the main quest line, so we're headed to Alderoon, trying to find out some more information about the Ashlanders and the uh, Nerevarim cult. Now we've briefly been to Alderaan already. We can actually fast travel there using the Mages Guild. You can, if you're not a faction member of the Mages Guild, uh, just take the Silt Strider there. Not sure if you'd have to take a stop in between, uh, but. Because I know we can just Make get there Outlander. with the Mage's Guild, we're just going to do it that way. And we'll go find this informant. Make it quick, Outlander. We will need to uh, do some training here at some point, so we do want to up some of our magic levels, but we shouldn't really need much for this kind of a quest. I think we're just talking to uh, another informant in Alderaan. I don't think we're actually leaving the city or going on any sort of quest for this one, so not too worried about upping our magic skills for this. I must be going, so if you could make it quick. Okay, we need to find the inn. I think it's called make like it the Old Scar Inn or something like that. Really that. Important. Haven't really explored Alderaan in this playthrough, so it might take a bit of looking around to find this place, but we'll get it. <clears throat> now this big building at the end has a bunch of shops and has, I think it's the headquarters for House Redoran. I seem to remember when I've played that faction in the past, spending a lot of time in that building. Got a temple up there. We haven't actually joined the temple yet. Hadn't really decided if I wanted to do the pilgrimages in this playthrough or not. For now, we just gotta try and figure out where this inn is. <clears throat> it's gotta be somewhere nearby. No, oh, we've gone in a big circle because we're back at the Mages Guild and Fighters Guild. My time is precious, so make it quick. Yeah, you can see there is a Silt Strider here, so. We could have ridden that from Belmora. I just wasn't sure if there would be a stop in between, so it just seemed easier to take the uh, the good old Mages Guild over here. Ah, here we go. We found the inn. So the person we're looking for should be in here somewhere. Now with these Ashlanders, until you hit a certain uh, disposition with them, they don't want to tell you anything. They all want a gift or a bribe. So <clears throat> that's kind of why we needed to make some money selling off some Sneak gear. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. That kind of stuff, because we're going to end up having to bribe a lot of them to get information out of them. At least till we can hit a certain level with the... Uh, if I Ash can, Landers. I will, but don't take too much time. Okay, so this is the guy 
we're looking for. Huh. He still doesn't seem to want to tell us anything. It seems like he's a member of the Thieves Guild that we can get rid of a price on our head with if we get into some trouble, but that's not why we're here. <clears throat> okay, because we've already bribed him, he's just going to tell us what we need to know. Okay, so this is just a little bit of backstory of Nerevarine. I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. Okay, so we need to take these notes back to Caius and Balmora and see if he can make sense of any of the information we've gathered. It seems like relatively easy quest, just kind of, you either had to bribe that guy or I believe you can actually give him a gift. Like, I think you can go buy him poetry from a bookstore and then he'll tell you what you need to know, but we just cut out the middleman and gave him the cash. He can go buy his own poetry and we'll head back to Belmore and see what we can make from all the information he's given us. Hopefully we're done with talking to informants for a little while because we've been doing a lot of that in the last couple videos. It's kind of nice to uh, go do the big heist at Ghostgate and break up some of these little information gathering quests because too many of them back to back would kind of be boring. Got to go cause a little bit of trouble in, the, in between the two quests. I guess if we uh, couldn't have traveled back here with the, the Mages Guild, we could have always also used our recall magic just to land back at the Thieves Guild since we've already cast a mark spell there. Until we move that location to somewhere else, we can always use it to travel back to Balmora. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you. I've been working with you for like several videos now. Then again, he has a drug and alcohol problem, so I guess that could technically fit into the role-playing of this game. <clears throat> All right, so it's telling us a little bit more about the Nerevarim uh, prophecies. Uh, he's going to give us some decoded notes from the Emperor t explaining why we were sent here to Morrowind. Things still haven't really been properly explained to us. But basically, a few of the um, 
pieces of the prophecy we kind of fulfill. We were basically an orphan born on the right day of the year. Uh, because of that, the Emperor just like gathered us up and sent us to Moro. And it seems like anyone who kind of fulfilled the uh, early prerequisites of these prophecies just kind of got shipped over to Morrow and kind of see who would fulfill the prophecy if anyone could. But we'll go through the, uh, the decoded note from the Emperor that got sent. Trying to get a little bit of lore and backstory to this whole main storyline we've been going through so far. Let's see which one of these is the decoded note. I have the honor to acquaint you with His Majesty's wishes concerning G's Nuts, an individual of no rank or consequence. G's Nuts has been released from prison by His Majesty's authority and sent to you with this missive. Uh, he's to be entered as a novice in the Imperial Order of the Blades and is to serve under the absolute authority as you sh shall see fit. His Majesty, in particular, wishes are as follows. A local superstition holds that an orphan, outcast, a youth born under a certain day to uncertain parents shall unite the tribes, drive off invaders, and shall reestablish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven Nation. This orphan and outcast is called... Uh, basically Lord Nerevar reborn. We meet these conditions of this superstition, therefore it is His Majesty's desire that we shall, uh, if possible, satisfy, satisfy the condition of the prophecy and become the Nerevarine. Uh, though this prophecy is indeed only ancient local superstition, His Majesty has taken counsel on this matter and with His most expert informants and confidants uh, and his majesty is persuaded that the prophecy is genuine and significant either in its entirety or in its pieces certain aspects of this ancient superstition are described at the end of this document further materials will be forthcoming by courier at the earliest occasion Okay, so he's basically testing us against the prophecies here. Uh, and he's using Caius to kind of get us to follow all these prophecies and see if we fulfill them. Uh, okay, so this was written by his secretary, basically. Alright, so it, it basically just says that there's a superstition and a prophecy. We fulfill some of the prerequisites of this prophecy, so we've been sent here to be tested. Now Caius is kind of uh, sending us to meet some of the Ashlanders who run the Nerebrink cult to test us against more of these prophecies to see if we'll fulfill them. What the prophecies are and how we fulfill them will become a little more clear as we go. There's certain strange things that uh, would not apply to any other citizen of Morrowind, and if we happen to fulfill those prophecies, then... With pleasure. Please, go ahead. It I'm will become ears. apparent that we're basically Lord Nerevar reborn and the Nerevarine and we'll be the one to cast out the Outlanders, um, strike down the false gods and destroy the Sixth House, basically save the world. But they're not really sure if we're that guy or not. And 
it's really up to us to choose if we want to fulfill those prophecies and try and be that guy. For all they know, we could just be another false incarnate that, because we met these conditions, was just lucky enough to get let out of jail early and shipped over here. I get the feeling that uh, Uriel Septum the Third was like a bit of an interesting character. He always seems to be talking about prophecies and dreams. Like when we meet him in Oblivion, he's talking about dreams he's had and things that will come true based on predictions of the future. And in this game, he's talking about the Nerevarine prophecies and how we might fulfill some ancient superstitions. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. He must have been a, a very superstitious ruler. Must have been kind of interesting working with that guy. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. So we're actually trying to get to an Ashlander camp that's at the very top of the, the island, so... I think the best way to get there is to get on the boat here and sail around the outside of the island. Get as close as we can to this Ashlander camp, because it's not going to have a silt strider or a boat location attached to it. We are going to have to do some good old bushwhacking at some point to get there. I just hope I go in the right direction here because we haven't taken this yet. We have not uh, sailed around the world to uh, get all these locations on our map yet, so I'm hoping I'm not going in the wrong direction. I think we're going to this place. Okay, this is the top of the map, so now we're at cool. I'm waiting. Hurry, hurry, last boat to Solstein. Okay, so if we board that boat, we can actually head to Solstein, which is the island off the coast of Morrowind attached to Skyrim. Uh, you'll actually be a little familiar with that island if you played DLC from Skyrim. You get to revisit there. And it's actually part of the Blood Moon DLC for this game. So it's kind of cool. You can visit that island in Morrowind. And then later when you're playing Skyrim, you can actually go back there and visit it as part of the DLC for that. It's kind of cool to see... Uh, Solstheim in this era uh, with the Dunmer and the Nords and then go back there uh, years later in the future and revisit the same place after all these events kind of transpire. Yeah, so right now our options are either to kind of swim around the outside of the island or try and find a path through the middle of the island to get to this camp, but there seems to be a lot of uh, rocky mountains in the way, so unless we can get around some of this stuff, it might actually be easier to just swim around the outside. We do have a water walking spell, but again, our magic levels kind of aren't great right now. Maybe we should have leveled up our uh, alteration while we were at the mages guild. Oh well, live and learn. Do things the hard way for now. Next time we get back to uh, a city with a mages guild, we're definitely leveling things up. We 
definitely can afford to do a lot of training. We just haven't yet. It's gonna end up having to fight a lot of slaughter fish if we stay in the water here. music can't quite decide what it wants to do. It starts playing the happy exploration music and then changes right back into battle music. Yeah, we don't have to go too far, but not quite there yet. Uh, who fell in an area that's going to be hard to get out of. Uh, don't tell me we're stuck. <laughs> Getting out of here could be fun. Uh, it just doesn't want to let me through there. Might have to try and see if we can cast water walking to get out of here or levitate. Okay. Had to use a, a potion there, but it let us cast water walking and walk out of there. Only took us one magic restore potion to be able to cast that. Yeah, we definitely need some uh, some better magic skills trying to use it. We just haven't raised it enough to be effective at it. Now we can board that boat, but don't think I want to do that right now. We'll end up having to pass by here later, so we'll try and go on to that boat later. I just want to get this camp found before this video runs too long on us. Be nice to kind of accomplish that first quest that was pretty quick and find our way to this camp all in one video. Now that we're back on the mainland, we should get to this camp pretty quick. As long as there's no mountains in the way, and we're gonna have to avoid this Daedric Shrine. We are gonna get into some trouble fighting enemies there yet. Maybe we'll do a, a video in this series where we uh, go complete some of the Daedric quests and raid some of these Daedric shrines. I think we're getting attacked by a cliff racer though. Yep. Thanks for the boost to look my light armor, buddy, but you're going to have to die so I can continue on. I always wonder if 
they managed to put this many clip racers in the game, or there was some sort of mistake made. <laughs> Like, were they trying to divide up how many cliff racers per the size of the map and did the math wrong or something? But it just seems like there's too many of them in this game. Alright, looks like we found our camp. So we need to talk to a couple people here and get information. See if we can maybe join the Nervarine cult. And no one wants to talk to us without a bribe. Okay, so they've taken a route out of our inventory, and now they're going to give us more information if we need it. Yeah, some some of these Ashlanders will ask for an item, some of them will just straight up ask for a cash bribe. Yeah, these Ashlander villages are kind of like little small tent cities. They're meant to be kind of an oppressed people, uh, kind of pushed down by the tribunal. Whatever you're looking for. This is one of the people we're meant to talk to. Bonnie Mesa. Let's see if we can get some information here. <laughs> they just straight up want a bribe. They're looking for cash. basically have to raise their disposition to a certain level. Now they should tell us anything we need to know. Okay, so we need to uh, speak to whatever that guy's name is. I don't know how to pronounce that, but He's the champion of Salmatul. We can't speak to the leader of this village until we speak to his champion. Basically, we're going to have to go hand out bribes to a few different people before we're going to get the information we need. I'm glad we came equipped with money or we'd be in some trouble here. See if we can sell off some stuff just to recover some of these bribes we're spending. Yeah, I'm glad we got uh, like 12,000 gold. We need to sell off a few of these shields coming up too.
that the Ashcan's tent is our final goal here, but before we can go in there, we need to talk to uh, this guy, so. Just gonna try and get back all our health and fatigue in case this guy attacks us when we walk in there. Pretty sure one of your options is to just fight and kill this guy, but if we can avoid doing that, we will. Don't like to kill too many M NPCs in case there's any quests involving them later in the game. We get a quest from a faction that's like, go talk to this guy, and we've already killed them, then. That quest has kind of failed before it starts. Make it quick, Red God. Okay, seems like he's not going to attack us probably just going to want to bribe before he uh, will recommend us to go see his uh, his boss no one will talk to me he's saying That didn't work. Just don't think our speech craft's uh, high enough to persuade him without some money. He really doesn't seem to want to help us. Let's see if we can go talk to the other guy. Nope, he's not gonna he's not gonna talk to us until we somehow win over this other guy. I have no champion. Time. They really don't like us because we're an outlander, but According to their religion, the only outlander that they should kind of have any respect for is the Nerevarine, and they have no reason to believe that we're him, so... Okay, we can offer to fight him. Could either kill him or give him 200 gold. Those are the options. Since we have 12,000 gold, I'm not too worried about it. Alright, on to the last member we probably need to bribe. He wants more gold. He's actually calling it a bribe. <laughs> help us yet. Alright, he wants us to do an initiation right to join the clan as a clan friend. So here comes a quest, I guess. Okay, he wants to go us to go to the Urshaluku Burial Caverns and fetch the Bow of Salt Sensipal. 
So we're supposed to go south, southeast towards Red Mountain. So we are heading halfway between here and Red Mountain. Uh, he's warning us that there's going to be ancestral spirits. Hopefully we can fight ghosts now. A few times we've run into them, they've what just been this about? not possible to damage even with our magical equipped weapons. Spit it out, I'll hit the road. Seem to remember to damage ghosts, you needed enchanted weapons, but we tried using that last time, it didn't seem to work out too well for us. Okay, south, southeast between here and Red Mountain. We're gonna head off in this direction and hopefully we can find this camp. Try to uh, at least make it to the camp in this video. Probably have to cut off and then we will raid the camp in the next video, I think. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at an hour plus video here. Let's see if we can at least find this burial cavern. All right, just cutting out some of this, checking the map and figuring things out, but think we're headed in the right direction. Just reading the journal and checking the map and making sure we're not going in the wrong direction here. I'd like to, as much as we can, just follow the directions we're given in the game and not try looking things up, because not really how this game's meant to be played. I think, yeah, it looks like we're headed right at a burial cavern, so this is probably it. When we get there, we'll uh, save, and then we'll probably leave this cavern in our next video. Go find this bowl, bow of Saul Sensible. Alright, we've, I think, found it here, so that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and come see us raid this place in the next Morrowind video.